everyone this is your Katna here so in this video we are going to see a problem solve x plus y square divided by dx equals to a square from differential equation reducible to separable variable so the given differential equation is not in separable variable or variable separable form so what we are going to do is we are going to reduce this to variable separable form okay solution by using substitution so given differential equation is x plus y whole square into dy by dx equals to a square. Okay. So now let x plus y equals to t. If you'll differentiate on both sides, you'll get dx by dx. So we are differentiating with respect to x. Okay. So, you'll get dx by dx plus dy by dx equals to dt by dx, which becomes 1 plus dy by dx equals to dt by dx. From this, we'll get dy by dx equals to dt by dx minus 1. Okay. So, we are going to change this total differential equation in terms of t and x. So, you are having dy by dx equals to dt by dx minus 1. So, we will replace it and we will replace x plus y with t. Okay. So, if we consider the given differential equation as 1, 1 becomes x plus y which is t t square into not plus into dy by dx we are having right so in the place of dx uh, dy by dx right d dy dx minus 1 which is equals to a square okay so, you can write it as d t square into dt by dx minus t square equals to a square. So, this becomes t square into dt by dx equals to a square plus t square. So, which implies dt by dx equals to now we are taking t square to right hand side. So, you will get a square plus t square by t square. Okay. So, now we can write it as 1 by a square plus t square by t square into dt which is equals to dx. Now, this is of the form f of t into dt plus dx. Sorry, equals to dx. Okay. So, this implies t square by a square plus t square dt equals to dx. So here, this is of the form variable separable. So variables are separable. Okay. So now what we are going to do is we'll integrate. Integrating integral t square by a square plus t square into dt equals to integral dx. Okay. So, this t square by a square plus t square can be written as 1 minus a square by a square plus t square. Okay. If you want you can check. Nothing remains. 
sorry nothing will change everything remains the same so 1 into a square plus t square is a square plus t square minus a square divided by a square plus t square plus a square and minus a square gets cancelled so finally you will get t square by a square plus t square the same okay so you can write it as 1 minus a square by a square plus t square into dt equals to since we know that integral dx is x plus some constant since integral dx equals to x plus c okay so this implies dt minus integral a square by a square plus t square into dt equals to x plus c. Also integral dt is t minus since a square is constant right outside the integral into 1 by a square plus t square into dt equals to x plus c. Since we know that integral 1 by x square plus a square into dx equals to 1 by a into tan inverse of x by a. So now we are going to apply this formula in the second term. So we will get t minus a square into in the place of a you are having a in the place of x you are having t. Just compare these two. Okay. So we will get 1 by a into tan inverse t by a. Okay. Equals to x plus c. So this implies t minus a square into 1 by a into tan inverse of t by a which is equal to x plus c. So a and the 1 a from a square gets cancelled. So you will get t minus a into tan inverse of t by a equals to x plus c. So here you are having everything in terms of t and here you are having in terms of a. So here you are having in terms of variable t and here variable x. But we know that t is t is equals to x plus y. So we will replace t by x plus y. So this becomes x plus y minus a into tan inverse of x plus y by a equals to x plus c. So this implies x plus y minus a into tan inverse of x plus y by a equals to x plus c. So, x gets cancelled. You will get y minus tan inverse of x plus y divided by a equals to c. Okay. Since you are having minus here, so we will take it to the left hand side. Finally, you will get y equals to a tan inverse of x plus y by a plus c. Which is a required solution. Is the required solution of the given differential equation.
So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem in this video. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.